Time to get soul blurring. Oh wait, that's right, you have, oh I did, wait a minute, I did put a water thing on you to have tier. I forgot. I literally just did that and completely forgot that I had. All right, cool. So we do have tier on Joshua as well. That did a lot less than I thought it would. I immediately regret not double aqua bleeding you. I don't think this one is gonna die either. So we're gonna get hit by some arts. Oh, it did die, nice. Just enough. Do those things not even drop any red, even though they use a move called Flare Arrow? You don't have any Flare Sepith on you? You kidding me? You gotta be Josh at me. All right, someone is gonna get this KO. Cherry, hit him with your whip. You should be out of range. Why not? Now die! Kablooey! That's that thing. Let's move Those things are only worth three experience apiece, you kidding me? Olive oil? Olive oil? From those things? Whatever you say, video game. Whatever you say. I think of Christmas every time this music has that little jingle part. I gotta stop running into these things. It's because I'm looking at the minimap. Literally, like, playing this game, 90% of it is me looking at the top right corner, nothing else. Oil from the olive. Whoever could have predicted. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. All right, now we go up to Ravenue Village because the only other thing to do is to destroy that enemy on the Ansen? I think it was Ansen it was called? Pathway or whatever? I have no idea where that is. Bum, 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 bum. Do Krone Pass 300 football fields. Ravenue, Ravenue Village, 147 football fields. Let's get up there. Hut, hut, hike. I don't even watch football. <laughs> huh? Oh. Is this Cloud Strife's long lost cousin over here? Sherizard, is that you? Well, this is an unlikely place to run into the Silver Streak. Right back at you. I thought you were in the Royal City, but are you here to look into the airliner incident? Nah, I'm here on some chump errand. But speaking of the incident, I hear it was the work of the Sky Bandits. This dude looks like someone's custom character in a Dragon Ball game. Anyway, if you're here on the job, then I guess I don't have to worry about it myself. Good luck to you. Is that all you've got to say? I'm sure you've heard that uh, Cassius might have been taken hostage, right? Cassius Bright, taken hostage? Haha, <laughs> don't make me laugh. That old man's not going to get beaten by the likes of some Sky Bandits. Anybody saying that is severely mistaken. I'd like to believe that too, but... I wonder who this guy is. I don't know, but he seems to fit the mold for a bracer. By the way, who are those brats you've got tagging along with you? They look like a bunch of newbies to me. Well, then I'm sure you'll be surprised to hear that these brats are Cassius's kids. Yeah, it's a surprise, all right. So these are the old man's kids, huh? Hard to believe it. Why are you looking at us like that? This boy with the black hair is one thing, but the girl really looks like an amateur. Am I missing something about Estelle that every- every- is there like- does Estelle have a- like a piece of paper on her back that says like, Hey, please like call me trash and bully me for the entire game? Literally anytime anyone comes up on Estelle, they're just like, time to end this girl's whole, car whole career. Career? I can't even talk. They're just like, this is the most worthless, stupid, idiot person I've ever seen in my life and I've just met her. Like, every single time they encounter Estelle, I don't understand. Are you sure she's really Cassius' daughter? You wanna try saying that again with my staff in your teeth? She's the bona fide daughter of Cassius Bright, and I have to warn you, her bite is as good as her bark. And I'm just his adopted son. Ah, uh, is that a fact? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Well, take it easy, Sherizard. And be careful not to let these brats drag you down. Yeah, yeah. 
And make sure not to rush into any trouble yourself, either. Ha! <laughs> I'll keep those words in mind. Oh, by the way, Sherazard. Was it you who took care of that monster near the mine? Yeah. Well, actually, it wasn't just me. It was us. I don't think any number of trainees would have made much difference. But anyway, good luck in your search for those Sky Bandits. Later. What's with that guy? He really ticks me off. I see. So that was Heavy Blade... Uh, Heavy Blood. Heavy Blade Agate, huh? Heavy Blade Agate? What a stupid name. Are you kidding? That name sounds sick. Agate Crossner, Senior Bracer in the Bracer Guild. He works in all regions and isn't affiliated with any specific branch. His massive blade is said to be capable of slicing a monster in two with a single slash. I'll just tell you right now, he's one tough customer. Whatever. I don't care how tough he is, he's still a rude jerk. Come to think of it, how does he know dad anyway? Uh, Estelle, I'm starting to think that everyone on the planet knows your dad, except you, apparently. He seems to think highly of dad's ability, but even so, he didn't seem to like him all that much. There are a number of things in his past I can't go into because it'll be described later in the game or in the next game. And those things are the reason why he feels that way about your father. Huh. Well, I could care less about someone rude like that. Anyway, let's hurry to Ravenu Village. <laughs> Literally everyone on the continent knows Cassius except this Estelle. That's what it feels like. Getting a call from a number I don't w uh, recognize words. Well, unfortunately for them, I'm working. So if they really want to get a hold of me, they can leave a voicemail. And I will call them back. Where'd I get all this CP from? One experience and three experience for the other two. Nice. So I guess if I hadn't come to Ravenu Village to do the quest, he was talking about the side quest we did to kill the monster at the mine, right? So I guess if we hadn't done that side quest in time, then this is not worth my time. Then he would have been like, oh, I just took care of this monster. Oh, they left me a voicemail. Oh, dang it. I was looking at my phone to see if they left me a voicemail or not. And then I got caught by the monster again. Walk up to a random person on the street. Oh, I remember talking to Cassius just last week. Everyone knows that lad. He would have done it if you didn't? Yeah, I knew. Maybe it's Shroom calling you? New method to distract? No, I have Shroom's phone number. If Shroom called me, it would come up as Shroom. Alright. Let's see what we can find out about the sighting. So what do you suggest? Should we just go talk to all the villagers? People would be suspicious of us if we did that all of a sudden. I think we should talk to the village elder first and see what he has to say about it. Okay. Go talk to that lad again. Also, I'm a little low on HP. Heal me. Yeah, 60 mirror, whatever. Watch that number be calling about your extended car warranty? The Google Pixel, which is the kind of phone I have, I don't I think I have a 4 or a 5, one or the other. I think it's a 4. But uh, it's really good about picking up spam calls. I cannot remember the last time I answered a spam call because Google, uh, my phone, always, like, tells me, like, hey, this number that we screened for you said, like, we're talking about extended warranties or whatever. Would you like to block it as spam? And then I block it as spam. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The game just froze? Or my controller came unplugged. No, the game can't be froze. The music is playing. Okay, keyboard still works. My controller come loose? Let's see if this is one of the good emu uh, emulators that it'll pick up a... Yeah, it does. You unplug and replug and it just picks up the controller. Uh, for no reason at all, not relating to what just happened. I'm gonna hit a fat save real quick. <laughs> that was really scary. Back to Steam version. Nah, my controller just came loose. It happens every now and then. I mean, what are you gonna do? Unless I, I mean, like, I can't really complain about that. You know, every now and then the, uh, the cord on my DualShock 4 controller, because it's like, pfft, probably like seven plus years old, however long I've had a PS4 for, and I think I got one not long after they came out. 
oh, stretch. You know, it's, it's an old cord. It comes a little loose every now and then. So unless I set up my uh, PC to like connect by Bluetooth or whatever, it's something you gotta live with. Ah, I see you're all together. What brings you all up here today? Are you here for a visit? Not exactly. We're actually here on business. Although if it's possible, I'd really like a glass of your fruit, uh, your fruit wine. Haha, uh -huh, things in the world never go like you expect, do they? By the way, I never got a chance to ask you until now, but you don't happen to be one of Agate's companions, do you? Well, we're all members of the same guild, but we're not companions, exactly. We know him by face, and that's probably about it. I see. So he's traveling by himself as usual, huh? Village Elder closed his eyes for a moment as a look of sadness passed over his aged features. Mmm, backstory. Like how most of the side quests in this game actually feel quests instead of just a list of chores. Lots of useful information about the world hidden within them. Yeah. The, I mean, the side quests have been pretty good so far. I don't know about, like useful information. I don't really feel like I got any useful information from the guy who was like, hey, tell me where I can find bear claws. And then I went to a place with bear claws, picked some up, and then went back and told him. And he was like, oh, sick, thanks. But uh, the side quests in this game have been pretty good so far. What's wrong, sir? It's nothing, really. Please pardon my expression. Anyway, what brings you to this rural village of ours? Don't tell me that you're here to take care of that monster I sent the request to the guild for. I already, we already did that, didn't we? No, actually, we're in the middle of an investigation concerning the missing airliner. We came here because we heard there was a report of some kind of sighting. Ah, I see. The Royal Army came here and investigated that the other day. However, they searched around that area and ended up leaving, and ended up leaving empty-handed words. Really, is that so? Well, what about the person who saw the flying silhouette in the sky? It was one of the children in the village here, a boy named Louie. What about Huey and Dewey? He apparently saw some suspicious shadow making its way across the sky on the night of the incident. But he's a kid any way you think about it, so he may have just imagined the whole thing while he was half asleep. Imagined it, huh? I guess the best thing we can do, then, is ask him directly. Ah, uh, you're probably right about that. Thank you for your time, sir. Don't mention it. If there's anything else I can help you with, don't hesitate to ask. Let's go. Comes loose every now and then, you should check it. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. They got a cemetery up here. I like to play a little loosey-goosey sometimes. Septian Calendar 1192. Here rests the soul of the six righteous people who lost their lives in the flames of war. Leif, uh, Abel, Nicole, Wilhelm, Arena, and Misha. May you all find rest with the goddess. Shout out to those dudes. So... I have to find the small child. Who's Louie? I'm actually looking to get out of the orchard. The lore! We found the lore, chat! So this is the lore of Trails in the Sky. If we just talk to this kid, then we don't have to actually, like, look at anything else in the game. That was not a kid. That dude said he had a wife. I, he looked like a child to me. Um, He was walking around in an orchard with chickens like he was playing games. Where the heck are the children? Take me to your children! I mean them no harm. <laughs> who's actually a 50-year-old man. I was looking at chat and then walked out the, the place. Where the heck are the children in this town? Here they are. This is Vince. Louie hasn't come over recently. I wonder if something's happened. Where the heck is Louie? Are you guys visitors? If you're looking for the village elder's house, it's just up the hill. I, no, where, where the heck is where, Louie, dude? Where's that dang duck? If you're looking for my husband, he's always in the orchard. Your name is Orange, huh? His meal is cold, whatever. I don't care about NPC flavor text all that much. Have you visited the gravesite here in the village? Large tombstones dedicated to the victims who died in the Hundred Days War. Ten years ago, this village suffered greatly because of the fighting. Even today, I still see that horrific scene sometimes in my dreams. Where, dude, where's, did, did the elder tell me where the kid is and I just wasn't paying enough attention? Yo, where's this kid at? Louis should be here somewhere in the village. The village is rather small, so I'm sure you'll be able to find him without any trouble. Obviously not, you dumb idiot. Tell me where he is. Be more specific. There's another house over here. It's locked. If we do this 99 times, we get Sataniel. Wait, dude, where's where's this little brat? When I find him, I'm gonna punt him across the village. Is he in here? Yo, you seen this kid I'm looking for? Welcome. L limit, er, uh, everyone here is just named after fruit, huh? That sounds great. If you don't mind me asking, this place wasn't around before, was it? Yes, that's right. We just opened the place recently. I hope you'll come visit us often. 
So what's the recommended item on your menu right now? Let's see. The pomegranate wine and the apricot tart are is, set is delightful. Words. Shara, shouldn't we be investigating things first? And that's exactly what we're doing. Speaking with local residents can net us some information as well. You don't need to be in such a hurry. We get it. You want to get drunk. I wonder if she's really serious about what she says. Who knows? But whenever it comes to her and alcohol, her credibility isn't that great. Dude, where the heck is this stupid kid? <laughs> he said he hadn't come over recently, so he shouldn't be like, I wouldn't hear already, right? Yeah, this is Orange's place. Oh, I don't think I've gone in here? No, I did go in here. It's the... Yeah, it's that guy. What the heck? You're an old man. I'm not making that same mistake again. Here he is! Trying to jump into the river here, Louie? I haven't seen you guys around here before. Are you merchants here to buy fruit? Actually, no. We're here for a different reason. As a matter of fact, we're bracers. Bracers? You mean like agate? I don't know, you don't look all that strong to me, especially because you're a girl. Ah, casual child sexism. Ah, <sighs> why don't you tell me how you really feel? But after seeing my great skill with the staff, do you think you can still call me weak? You gotta stop showing your staff off to children, Estelle. You're gonna end up on a list. Wow, that's amazing! It's like a tornado! Uh-huh, I hope you've learned your lesson that looks can be deceiving. Now, how about another dem amazing demonstration with my staff? Estelle, be careful. Wasn't it just yesterday that you hit yourself in the face doing that? Anyway, are you Louie by chance? Uh, yeah. But how do you know my name? We heard from the village elder. He said you saw some kind of flying shadow. Do you think you could tell us a little bit more about what you saw that night? Sure, if you want. But the soldiers from the army already searched the place and didn't find anything. That's fine. We're not worried about that. You think you'd just tell us what you saw? In as much detail as you can remember? Okay, I'll try. Yeah, this four-year-old's memory is gonna be flawless. You see, I like watching the stars at night. Alright, I asked you to tell me what you saw. I did not ask for your life story. So I often sneak out of my house at night and come here and look at the stars. And the other night when I was here, when I was out here looking at the stars, I saw two shadows moving across the sky. Now hold on a minute here. You say you saw two shadows? Yeah, that's right. And they were different sizes too. Kind of like a mom leading a kid. Two shadows, two sizes. That's consistent with an airliner and the Skymanded airship, if you think about it. Yeah, the aircraft we ran across in the woods was definitely smaller than a typical airliner. And the two shadows just kept on flying north, until I couldn't see them anymore. So, north is... There's a trail that continues behind the village, and it leads to an old septia mine which was abandoned some time ago. The soldiers from the army supposedly searched the trail, but didn't come up with anything. That's why they said I must have just been dreaming. What kind of a, like, eight-year-old uses the word supposedly? And then they laughed at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. Well, that's just rude. Little boy's eyes started to well up with tears. Enough of that. You're a boy, right? Boys don't cry. Not unless their wallet gets stolen, according to Akihiko. I think Akihiko was the one who said that in Persona 4. It's one of the only things enough to move a man to tears. A true man. We're not like those stupid soldiers. We don't think you're telling a lie either, and we're gonna prove it. Really? Darn straight. You just leave it to us. So no more crying, okay? Okay. You're a real nice person. For a girl. Stupid kids. Haha, -ha, as usual, she's got a knack with the kids. Yeah, maybe it's a virtue. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Let's focus on the task at hand. It looks like we got stuff to do. Right. Let's hurry and get onto the trail behind the village and see what we can find. So am I going to the mine, or am I going the other path? I guess I'm going through the mine in this case. That's what it seems like. They really gonna park their flying... Their flying machine? In a mine? That doesn't seem likely. Nothing to it but to go check. Yo, that tentacle thing freaks me out. Aw, oh, dang it. Like some seagulls would say, mine, mine, mine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, big dirty damage there, bud. You guys are only worth, like, five experience, I think, so. I will just be going about my day. Goodbye. Ugh! Stop popping up in front of me. Ugh. 
See you later, Joel. Thanks for coming to stream, dude. Fods are always there to catch up with. Or YouTube, whenever it makes it to YouTube. Oh, this is a dead end. Alright. That makes things a little bit easier, then. Can't be that way. Although, it looks like we got a lot of branching paths. There was an enemy behind the tree. Oh, it's these freaks. I don't, I don't think they're worth a lot of experience, either. Can't remember. Alright, nothing there. 